What's up, what's up, what's up, Skate Fam? It's your girl, the Queen, and Dr. Joanne Fontaine, and we're here for another episode of Wellness Wednesday. And today we're going to talk about inflammation and roller skating. Of course, right? Of course. So, Dr. Joanne, what is it? What exactly is inflammation? Well, inflammation is when your body reacts to um, like infection or um, irritation. Um, so it's a sw- it's like swelling and mm-hmm. irritation. And inflammation can actually cause more than just swelling and irritation. It can really start inhibiting the function or our ability to move, which in essence can affect how we are able to do activities such as roller skating. Or so, not do. Or not do. <laughs> so um, with that being said, one of the most important things that we can do is take care of our bodies and it all boils down. And I say this over and over again, but in reality, everything boils down to the same thing, the mm-hmm. same basic things. And and even with inflammation is watching your diets, yeah. diet, eating foods that will help decrease inflammation. So things like berries, nuts, drinking plenty of water, Um, So you rid your body from excess toxins because toxins a lot of times can irritate the body and increase the cell production. So let's say you have an infection or something going on in your body. Inflammation develops Mm -hmm. and then you've got the excess white blood cells and you've got all these things going on and um, it can create the inflammation, which can inhibit joint movement. It can cause infection. It can start doing more things. So like I was saying, the the main things, I'm getting off track. I'm sorry. So the main things are to drink plenty of water, mm-hmm. eat foods that are, that are, um, that will positively help your body to decrease inflammation. Okay. Um, stay away from things like added sugars. Added sugars are horrible. I'm a culprit too. I, I, tend so to good. Eat, <laughs> I know I tend to eat it too, but, but as we get older, we have to be more mindful of what yeah. we're putting into our bodies because our bodies don't accept things the same way that they used to. Right. And, um, and so insulin resistance becomes a problem, which in essence is like diabetes type two. Um, and that happens, you know, and part of those, part of that can be related to inflammation. I mean, mm-hmm. it all boils down to the same things. So we want to make sure we get plenty of rest. We eat yeah. healthy, we exercise, try to minimize, um, our weight, you know, weight gain so that uh, we keep our weight at a a reasonable weight. And as we get older, our metabolism tends to slow down a little bit. Oh, yes. And and so um, we have to be mindful of how how much we're taking in. So sometimes you can't take in as much as you used to because you're not burning it off. It's kind of like calories in, calories out type thing. And so all those things are just the same um, as they are for any other issues, uh, chronic diseases, um, inflammation is the same thing. Just trying to be, to do all the things that you can do, the, the most important things that you can do to keep your body healthy. And so there are two types of inflammation, right? Acute inflammation, yeah. chronic inflammation. So Correct. acute inflammation, how long would that last versus a chronic inflammation? Well, that just depends. I mean, you know, inflammation could be anything simple as you get a cut and you get a little sore and, and it gets okay. red and warm, something like that, mm-hmm. to something really bad that gets exacerbated mm-hmm. like like cellulitis, where your your circulation gets inhibited and all of a sudden that redness and warmth get worse and it travels down your body and it becomes significant where it all the cells in that area are swollen and and inflamed and that can be very dangerous but um and and another thing is like if you're a diabetic or something you want to be extra careful because if you get a sore your potential of getting for it to becoming worse is is there you know that that ability for it to Mm. get worse and so there are some things like rheumatoid arthritis and um, now those are more chronic okay okay those are more chronic okay and i mean but i've even heard of younger people having arthritis so oh absolutely yeah how does that happen like what is it just from the inflammation and it kind of 
Well, you what know, happens? different types of things. Sometimes it's degeneration. You know, things okay. are, are are breaking down in the body. Uh, again, it it's more apt to happen as we get older. The best thing you can, right. you know, how they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. So try yes. to take care of it. Try to move your joints every day. Try to exercise. Drink plenty of water. Get that rid that body yeah. from all those excess toxins. Um, you know, just eating healthy, trying to stay away from the excess sugars, trying to stay away from um, excess fats, just doing everything that we can possibly do to keep our bodies um, in tip top shape as best as we can. Yeah. And what kind of moves on that, skates could we do to, so well, we don't have <laughs> inflammation? Well, you know, I mean, if, if you've got some inflammation going on, your knees and your joint, uh, mm -hmm. other joints are going to be aggravated. You know, and it's going to be harder for you to move. And, and if you get arthritis mm -hmm. and you're not moving those joints and, and doing what you need to do to keep them going, um, the potential is for, for them to get stiff and you're not mm -hmm. able to do a, as many things. And when you look at all the really cool moves people are doing, the little JB moves and <laughs> stuff with skating and all the, you know, you won't be able to do all those things if you don't take care of your body. So we want you to take mm -hmm. care of your body. Yes. So that you can you enjoy you your life because, <laughs> because it's very important to uh, be able to enjoy your life and live to your optimal potential. That That's the goal. Yeah. So how would someone know, like, what are some of the symptoms of inflammation? Like, what would people notice first off? Well, pain or redness, mm -hmm. warmth. Um, okay. in turn, sometimes it can turn into, you know, the, the biggest thing there can be swelling okay. there can be there can be warmth there can be redness and then you got to be careful for infection but i mean mm -hmm. the main symptoms are those three things to watch for the swelling the pain and the the um warmth and redness so i guess that's four things yeah <laughs> that's four dr yeah. joanne has been working hard today so she, her count is long. you guys Pardon me, I am exhausted. You have, you guys have no idea. Oh my God, I've been working and COVID I have to travel again. Busy. COVID is keeping me very busy. Yeah, uh, seeing many, many people every day. But I've been blessed to be able to help others. So, so that is a blessing. You know what I what I realized today when I was looking up inflammation that it said that the word inflammation traces back to Latin or set a fire. And in some conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, you feel heat, pain, redness, and swelling. Yeah. So that is, I mean, I was like, whoa, set a fire, oh, it's hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was like, warmth. Yes. Yep. Those redness, are all the things warmth. that you mentioned. So that just kind of, now it makes sense why it's called inflammation. Yeah, and most of the mm -hmm. medical terminology, if you notice, it stems from Latin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. So people take care of your body, drink lots of water, fruits, move around. What else? What was the fourth thing you said? Uh, uh, nuts. Yes. Uh, berry. Berries are really like um, any berry or as, as a blueberry. Well, like blueberries, okay. strawberries. They all have good, a lot of antioxidants in it, which will help okay. your body. Um, yeah. Just stay healthy, eat well, uh, exercise, fiber, take fi eat yeah. plenty of things that are rich in whole grain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, trying to think. Yeah. So nuts, so walnuts, almonds, you know, things like that. Okay. So you heard it from the doctor, the doctor's in, she told <laughs> y'all what to do so y'all don't be all stiff out there on the floor. You got to. <laughs> You got to do take care of your body as That's always because right. we want to see you rolling. So and forgive me, you guys. I am exhausted tonight. I am not myself. Mm -hmm. I have been working 12 hour days doing this COVID thing, trying to keep everybody in the community safe. So, and she's still yeah. right here giving you your episode of wellness. <laughs> so, until next time, Dr. Joanne, we're gonna what? We're gonna see them on, on the, the wood. wood.